Hello, my name is Alan Smith, and I'm going to show you how to connect an NB to VNC. On my desk, I have a Windows PC with this IP address 192.168.250.099 through a network switch and into an NB with the IP address 192.168.250.0. I've used the VNC viewer version 6.2 and MP designer version 1.5. I've also used our manual reference V106 E1 20. Here's my laptop that's connected via the Ethernet cable to my demonstration box. Here's the switch. Here's an NB3. I have just run in as a, a simple demo to show the VNC connection working. I'll just return to the main screen. Here's the main screen. And I can move around the screen by selecting pages I wish to show. Connecting on VNC to the MB, uh, we now go to the settings. Here's the MB tool, and we're looking at the settings of the EMB3 here. And you can see we have the IP address, so there's 192.168.252. Underneath, we can enable the VNC just with a tick box or disable it. This will allow one connection. If you want multiple connections, click this. Two modes are allowed. Monitor mode, where you can just see what's on the MB. And you can put in a password. Or operation mode, where you can control the screen. Again, we can put in a password. With inside the MB, there are system bits that allow you to enable and disable these features depending on your application. There are system bits 9290, 9291, 9292, 9293. And depending on whether these flags are high or low, they enable the VNC, they enable its mode setting and they enable whether you're looking at the passwords for operation mode or monitor mode. Let's connect. VNC viewer. 192.168.250.0. And I can connect on. And if you remember, the operation password was 5678. And there's my screen. And we can move around. The test screen here shows me the status of the flags, the system flags I've configured. The bits on default when powered up are on, off, on, on. Looking at the screen settings, I have that screen just at the bottom, just here. Let's just make the screen a little bit bigger. So I have four buttons toggle buttons, each button will toggle that system bit. So in here, 9290, you can see I'm using that to enable the VNC. There's an alternate button. Same for this one, same for this. Same for this.
go back to the VNC viewer and then disable the VNC. Now, if I try to get back online, it won't connect. So there's a method that the application can disable VNC connections to the UNB. Re-enabling that flag, I'll do it through pressing the button on the front of the UNB. <clears throat> I can get back, back in. Five, six, seven, eight is the operations password. And here we are, we can now move around. I can return to my main screen or back to the test screen. Again, with these other flags, I can have just the, the operation password. I can have just the monitor password and turn these on and off. So disconnect from here, come back in. If I try the monitor password, can't get in. Try the operation password, I can get in. So these flags allow you to do combinations of things depending on the level of operation that you require to allow the operator to get into the NB. I hope that's helped. Thank you.